Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, Ken? Beautiful indeed. How are you? I'm doing great because great. Uh, it finally happened. The moment I was waiting for finally happened. I knew it was going to happen, and I just sat back, sat back, sat back, sat back, and bang, it happened. What was that? The players embarrassed themselves. Oh, jeez. I was waiting this. for it to happen, Evan. Okay. I Listen, I'm not saying the owners uh, haven't embarrassed themselves at some point. <laughs> uh, no, no. But today it finally happened, Evan. The players cracked. And they embarrassed they themselves. They just lost the entire fan base of Major League Baseball. There's a guy on the Dodgers who's the rep for the Dodgers. His name is Walker Bueller. Yeah, one of the better pitchers in all of baseball. Walker one Bueller. of the better pitchers in all of baseball was a Cy Young candidate, if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. this past year, right? Yeah. Should have won the Cy Young, in my humble opinion. Fair enough. Walker Bueller came out and said, This is not millionaires fighting with billionaires. This is workers fighting for their rights against owners. There's inflation. We have to deal with inflation. This is the average man's plight against the boss. You shouldn't have said that. And someone did a little checking. That someone was me. (laughs) Yeah. Walker Bueller has a two-year, $8 million guaranteed contract. He's fighting because gas is expensive. It's so hard to drive your Tesla to the local sushi store to get fresh tuna out of the Pacific Ocean. That's very expensive for Walker Bueller. And therein lies the problem. While the world is waiting for the potential of World War III, while men and women are losing their lives in the Ukraine right now, while blue-collar Americans are having a tough time paying $4 a gallon of gas and figuring out how to feed their families, Walker Bueller said, inflation is hurting us. We're average Americans. He has an $8 million guaranteed contract, and he wants you to feel pity for him. He wants you to view him like we might view a guy who works for local IBW3. What's up, Union? And therein lies the problem. They're effing nuts. They don't get it. And I'm not saying the owners do. Oh, good. But, <laughs> you scared me for a second. But right there, <laughs> yeah. that's the crack in the armor. They think the fans are on their side because we're employees. Who wouldn't want to take the plight of the employee against the owner? But my man, you have an $8 million guaranteed contract. Inflation is not hurting you. Yeah, the problem is 60% of baseball players aren't those millionaires. Yeah, well, yeah, those are the facts. Maybe those like, are the guys that should start bitching. Yeah, well, not the guys who have guaranteed eight I, I, million I dollars do, in the bank. I do agree with you. Like this is what, one aspect of what you're saying. I do agree with you. Even though I did get a very funny tweet last night from Taylor Yedverb, who says, "When I listen to Craig Carton, right. I think he's Tucker Carlson talking about Putin." And I didn't really understand. I'm not sure I, if that's a good thing or a bad <laughs> thing, but I appreciate I'm on to, your mind. Then I have to check out what Tucker Carlson's been saying lately, and I understand now. So basically, you're a show. But anyhow. The point is, you're all right. Like, when a player comes out and tries to make that point, even if you're on the player's sides, it doesn't look good because the one thing Walker Bueller can't do is relate to the common guy. You're 100% right Right. about that. Right. But I do think the reason why most people, I can't say by a, a large amount, but most people are siding with the players, is that if you had to pick a side that was more relatable, it's going to be them. Because you are talking about billionaire owners, and it didn't make the owners look good today when it came out publicly how much the Atlanta Braves made a year ago. Major League Baseball teams are really, really profitable. They're making a lot of money. So you're right if you turn this into do you feel bad for Walker Bueller. Nobody feels bad for Walker Bueller. Right. But it's also really difficult to then take the side of the owners who, Craig, by the way, are the ones imposing the lockout. They're the ones saying, we're not letting you play baseball. Yeah, I know. I get it. And they both suck, to be honest with I you. I agree. They do both suck. They both suck. They're, there's an out of, they're out of touch with the average person. 100%. Like, and I know I know, going to Russia and the Ukraine is uh, completely apples and oranges, so I, I don't mean to be insensitive to that at all. I don't. 
But at some point, you have to recognize who you are and where you are no, no, in the you world. You know what? You're right, though, Craig. Forgetting about war because it's so, so serious. I think the thing that Americans can relate to, and we heard a little bit of this yesterday, is that we're not doing great. Okay, we are all paying a ton of money at the pump. Inflation's a real thing. And so when you hear about fights over millions and billions of dollars, right. it's very difficult as a regular American to hear that fight and have sympathy for yeah. anybody. I don't want to hear from anybody. I really don't. And the, the call we took yesterday, I think his name was Dominic, towards the end of the show, I really slept on that last night because that's real. You know, if you're a diehard baseball fan, listen, some of you do make a, a lot of money and some of you don't. But there's a complete and utter disregard well, for American lifestyle right now in the moment. 100%. And I think both sides are guilty of that. And you know what Monday is, by the way? Monday. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this. And this Monday is, kind is of the a, last day of February. It is. It's also yeah. something else. There's a product that MLB has. It's actually one of the greatest inventions, and I give MLB a ton of credit. Is it MLB the show? It's called MLB.TV, okay? Yeah. They have always been ahead of the curve with the app that they have. And you know what happens on February 28th, Craig? No, I have no idea. Auto Renew Day. That means if you've been a subscriber of MLB TV and they yeah. have tons of subscribers, automatically... Yeah. Without you pressing a button, Major League Baseball is going to take, I think it's $125 away from you. And usually, year in and year out, auto-renew it, baby. Auto-renew, auto-renew, auto-renew. But I ask you this if you're a baseball fan, not no. knowing if there's going to be baseball the first month of the year, the second month of the year. Do you really want that auto-renew to occur? Do you want Major League Baseball to simply take money from you? And look, will they reimburse you if games aren't played? I'd hope so. I'd even assume so. But right now, on February 28th, do you want to allow an auto renew? You're not going when to. You don't know if you're getting that product. Are you going to push the button? Are you going to opt I'm out? I'm not auto renewing. You're not. You're opting out. So Evan Roberts, the biggest baseball fan on the planet, is not going to auto renew when they settle, until they announce baseball. When they settle, oh. I will gladly yes give them my money. Okay, but not day before no. that. No. Nice. No. How many people actually have that dopey app? A lot. A lot of people. I don't know anyone. If you look at the numbers, it's a huge number. Millions of people have that app? I, I would have to say so. Yeah. Wow. It's a pretty good revenue source. Let's make sure we keep that little you know, <laughs> piggy bank going. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, just it's like I'm sick and tired of it, frankly. Like I don't, And I'm the guy, I don't even care if baseball starts on time. Oh, here we go again. I really don't. I'd rather start Memorial Day weekend. <sighs> that being said... When a guy comes out and goes, please tell me how what we the players are asking for is crazy. Inflation happens. What? Like, you lost everybody with that comment right there. I'm sorry. You can't make that comment. Uh, you, and he has since deleted that comment because well, the union said to me, moron. <laughs> you know, we have a probably a know, majority of fans on our side right now. Let's not have that up. You get compassion, I think, easily. And it's not even how do you split the money, why should the owners get more than us. It's not that. I think you can get sympathy when you talk about minor leaguers, when you talk about jobs, when you talk about right now the owners are fighting in court. You know what they're fighting about? No. They don't want to pay minor leaguers to go to spring training. And their reasoning is we're doing them a favor. We're letting them learn. Why should we pay them? That's where you're going to get, not all, but you'll get more sympathy, some sympathy. No one's going to have sympathy, right or wrong, for guys making millions of dollars. Right. So stop complaining. And they have to do me one other favor. I saw a group of guys. Brandon Nimmo was there today. Scherzer, of course, is there. Garrett Cole is there. And I couldn't figure out which of them was doing it, Evan. Maybe you mm -hmm. can help me out because their back was to me. One of the most annoying things in life is when somebody plays air sports in front of you. <laughs> now, Evan does this once in a while. I do? When you pretend to be pitching. Yeah, I do it all the time, actually. Yeah, I hate it. Why? I hate it. I love it. I hate it. I love it. It's like when that jackass at, the, at work in the cubicle next year is telling you about his weekend plans, and he starts giving the old... Air golf swing. Uh, the golf swing's obnoxious. Right? I agree with you about Beyond that. Beyond obnoxious. Pitching is great, though. So there's four or five baseball players this morning getting ready to go into today's meetings, right? Yeah. And I know Nimmo's there. I saw him. But then uh, I couldn't tell who this was, Evan. Mm -hmm. And he was going through like a full at-bat. 
me. And I was like, come on, man. I think it's awesome. Don't be that guy. I love that. Don't that, be that you guy. You know what that shows you, Craig? If yeah. it wasn't for those greedy owners locking them out, they yeah. could be on those backfields not having to do it into the air, yeah. but doing the real thing. Wow. Do you realize tomorrow the New York Mets would have had a baseball game? The New York Yankees would have had a baseball game? It would have been a game tomorrow. I'm not saying you would have watched, and I respect that. I would have watched... Big Mac would have watched. No. There's a chance the scorebook would have come out. There could have been baseball tomorrow, and instead, well, nothing. Now you have a weekend where if they don't saw, settle their differences over this weekend, and we get to 5 o'clock on Monday, March 31st is now dead. March 31st is dead. Let's no, call it like dead it is. Yet, Opening Evan. day is not it happening on yet. time. It You'll ain't see. dead yet. You'll see. So You'll see. Monday at 5 o'clock. There's a chance opening day is dead. Now, let me ask you a question. And the next day is dead. Yeah. So let's say, because I think it's going to happen during our show. I think we are going to get the announcement 430 on Monday. Opening day has been canceled. Yeah. Big Mac and I, yeah. in a sports sense, yeah. we're going to be very upset. Very upset. Are you going to be a douche or are you going to show some compassion for the diehard baseball fan yeah. that is actually truly upset about this occurrence. Well, I am a man of the people, as you know. Oh, yeah. And I've won the Pulse of the People Award, I believe it's six times in the uh, de decade that it's been around. Mm -hmm. So uh, I will always side on the people side. Except when you defend the I owners will... constantly, right? I think sometimes defending the owners is what's good for the fans. <laughs> you know, sometimes defending the players is what's good for the fans. You know, it's not unanimous one way or the other. So on Monday, should we get word that we have lost opening day of baseball, at least the scheduled opening day, mm -hmm. I will do whatever the fan base wants. And what do you think the fan base wants? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? They're going to be upset. Maybe. Don't listen to the 5% Maybe. that are just going to say, I agree, Craig, baseball's boring, kill we'll it. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, because that's not the majority. I'm going to represent the fan base. That's what I always do. I'm a Vox Populous. <laughs> I'm a voice of the people. What the people want, I give them. And that's how I've always handled my career for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I want to be representative of the average guy. The guy right now that's driving somewhere in his job that he hates, dreaming about the drink he's going to have when he gets home at about 6.15, wondering which vaporizer he should use, <laughs> hoping that his wife ordered in the special meatballs from lots of balls that he loves so much. Or maybe he's got a little date night with the wife at Gabriella's in Red Bank on Saturday. I don't know. That's the guy I represent. Okay. Because I feel them. I live that life. And on Monday, I'll do my damnedest to make sure those good, hardworking people are properly represented I'll tell you, on this radio yesterday, station. Yesterday, as I was uh, getting yes. ready for the Nets game, yeah. I went to the restroom and I checked my Twitter, and you were getting a lot of hell. You were ve The people were not yeah. happy about with Craig what? In regards to what? About your opinion on this subject. Oh, yeah, we should wait till Memorial Day. Start the season, play 100 <laughs> Wasn't games. even that. It was the defense of yeah. the owners. It was yeah. your hatred for baseball. I don't hate it baseball. Was, I, I love baseball. I'm just telling you what Twitter told me, I just, Craig. There's enough of it. That's all. I, I'm just telling you. Like 100 what games. I heard. That gives you more games than any other sport plays. Play every game in the summertime. Finish the season before Columbus Day. It's all good. <laughs> like, I've really perfected what baseball should be. Except very few people actually agree with 100 you. 100 games, no days off. Memorial Day weekend. Let's rock. Mm. June, July, August. Playoffs start the Monday after Labor Day. Bang. I was thinking about the Mount Rushmore of bad carton ideas. Yeah. This one may take the cake. This may be your Washington. I give you credit. My Washington? Your Washington. You mean my Waterloo? Your Washington, because there's, when you look at Mount Rushmore, yeah. as you know, there are a few presidents on that mountain. So Washington is deemed like the number one guy, yeah. right? Oh, you mean my Mount so Rushmore of bad takes? Your Mount, not bad takes. Yeah. Bad ideas. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. This may be up there. Well, I certainly hope it's not because I really like the idea. I'm really <laughs> married to it now for a while. You know what makes me so sad? I have a feeling that this horrible idea may be our reality for this season. Like, I think this lockout may actually last two months. And then unbeknownst to you right now, we may get everything you're describing for this season. And that will make me so sick for yeah, the Yeah, because it'll be reasons. the greatest season on recent memory. Yeah.